Let's do a good job, Blue Penguin. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need a marker. Some paper and something to color with. Yeah, <laughs> if we ever go too fast, what can they do? Pause the video. You ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw our penguin's eye in the top left corner of our drawing. So we're gonna draw a little circle and color it in. That's a good spot. Okay. Then we're gonna draw a little curve that goes over the top and a little curve that goes underneath. And then right in the corner, we can add an extra little line that comes out. Yeah. Now let's draw the top of our penguin's head. We're going to draw a curve, a big rainbow line that goes up and back down. Up. Yeah. And, and down. Then we can draw the beak. We're going to draw it curving forward. And then right at the end, we're going to do another curve that comes down. Now let's draw the mouth. We're going to start here and we're going to draw a curve that comes back and ends right before the eye. Then we can draw the bottom of the beak. We're going to draw a curve that comes down and then comes across and ends right underneath the mouth. Good job. All right, now let's draw her neck. We're going to draw a little curve. Uh, are you adding eyelashes? Yes. <laughs> we were going to try to draw her realistic. <laughs> I've never seen penguins with eyelashes. <laughs> But that's okay, because what's rule number one? Always add eyelashes. <laughs> Even to realistic drawings. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yes. I love eyelashes. Me too. <laughs> okay, now let's draw our little neck. We're going to draw right underneath the beak. We're just going to draw a little curve that comes down right about here. Yeah. Now we can draw the back of her neck coming down a little further like that. So it kind of matches the front. See how they kind of come down at the same place. All right, now let's draw our belly. We're going to start up here and we're going to draw a curve that comes forward and then down like that. Forward and then diagonal. Oh, <laughs> she's going to, I like it. She's got a good sized belly. Okay. <laughs> now let's draw our first little flipper. We're going to draw a little curve. It starts inside and we're going to curve to touch the belly and then we're going to curve down further. It's an S line. Yeah. There you go. And then touch the belly. I like it. You're doing great. And then, yeah, you did it. Now, Hadley, our drawings look a little different, right? Yes. And that's okay because what's the most important thing? To have fun. To have fun and to? Practice. Practice. And it's okay if our art friend's drawings look different too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Now we're going to draw the back side of the flipper. We're going to draw a curve that comes back up like this. So it comes straight up. Yeah. And then we're going to add another little curve right at the end and then stop. Good job. Now let's finish her belly. We're going to imagine this line going behind her flipper and then coming down like this. Now we can even go a little further. Let's go a little further down. Yeah, that's a good job. We can come down even a little further like there. Good. Now let's draw her back. We're going to draw a little curve that comes back like this and curve and then end right, right about there. Oh, love your penguin drawing so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now right here at the end, let's curve backwards like this. Come out. This is for a tail. So right here, you can curve back. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yes. <laughs> Good. Now we're going to connect these two lines with a zigzag line. And watch this. It's really small zigzags. And then right... Before you get to the end, we can do some bigger zigzags just to finish her tail. Oh, good job, Hadley. <laughs> All right, now let's draw her leg. We're going to draw two lines coming down like this. And then we can draw her toe, her first toe coming out and then curving back in. I love your penguin. <laughs> Now let's draw our other toe. Let's draw another curve. It comes like this. Watch this. So we're going to go all the way back in and connect to the back of her leg. Now let's add one more toe on the other side. And we're using overlapping so it looks 3D. We're only going to draw part of her toe. Good. Now let's add little claws sticking out from each toe. All right. We did it. Now she has another foot. We're going to draw it behind this one. So let's just draw... A line that comes down like this, curves forward, and then connects in. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, go forward and then connect it. Yeah. And then let's add one more toe back here to make it look more 3D. And then let's add two more little claws sticking out. <laughs> now she has one more flipper. We only drew one. So let's draw another flipper. We're going to draw a curve that comes down like this and then back in for our other little wing. Oh, she looks awesome. Hadley, you did such a great job. Now we're not completely done because these are blue penguins, right? Yes. And they don't look blue. They look white. Mm -hmm. What do we still need to do? Color it. Yeah, we need to color them. This part we're going to fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. job on coloring your blue penguin. They look so awesome. They look way better colored in, don't yes. you? They actually look blue now. <laughs> you promise you had fun? Yeah. You could be super proud of your drawing. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your blue penguin. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.